Welcome to TechRanch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. PL SQL Tutorial, PL SQL Practice Project. Today we are going to present you a new series for PL SQL Practice Project ideas and execution for hands-on experience. So here we are going to show you live demonstration of all the practice project ideas we have presented in uh, the last uh, series of PL SQL and covered all the theories and fundamentals. Now here we are going to show you the live demonstration and coding exercises for practice project, getting the hands-on experience in PL SQL. So in our very first PL SQL introduction, we have covered about the C PL SQL script writing. So here in this uh, session, we are going to cover the live demonstration of PL SQL script calculating average of five numbers and displaying the message. So almost we are going to cover the variable definition, declaration and uh, assignment, the string and number type of variables and uh, along with that on condition, if condition operation so that you can understand how it works in, in PL SQL script project idea. We have seen that we need to calculate the average of five marks obtained of a student and display the result if average is more than 50 is passed else it will display fail using conditional operations in PL SQL script for school management system. So these type of things are very useful in real time practice, uh, real time project like school management system. Sometimes it is used for commercial purposes like retail management system, attrition management systems and many other places. So here we are going to see the very basic and uh, simple script, a PL SQL script using variable definition declaration assignment and if condition used and presenting a small demonstration of how it can be written for any other type of practice project now this will be the kind of a code you can see so instruction is first whenever we come up with any problems and practice project ideas First, we need to collect as much as information we can collect. So what do we have? We have to pick the five input numbers and calculate the average and using the very basic calculator like addition and division using variables and displaying thank you or displaying the message of the result by comparing the marks obtained. The average is less than 50 or not so first thing first we need to declare the five numbers variable so a b c d e are the five simple numbers definition and declaration in your declare part of the pl sql with the precision of four by two so that means basically if you have a decision a decimal number so that can be precise by two numbers now, F will be your addition of all the five numbers to make it more simple and self-explained. I just made it using the addition separate and the division separate for the average and percentage calculation. So F will be basically addition of five numbers, A plus B plus C plus D plus E, and G will be your division or calculating the average F by five. So that's my idea for this uh, pro project to calculating the average and displaying the message. Now in the begin, this is what the declaration and definition. Now in the begin section, we are going to assign these variables to some value. So you can directly put the number or you can make it dynamically taken by the compiler. So at the rate A will help you to take the value from the compiler at the runtime. So you will see when we actually see the execution and see the demonstration it will be very interesting so just to understand whatever the user enter the value at the runtime when the compiler asks will be assigned to the variable a similarly for the b c and d and e so suppose user entered at the runtime five numbers that will be assigned to these variables and that will be added and assigned it to value f 
variable and further f will be divided by 5 to calculate the average and assign to g so in pl sql we assign it with a column equal sign so this is what the uh, syntax to assign the variable once the assignment is done next step we need to print the value the result the output so before printing any output make sure your database server output is on so to make the server output on you need to make sure you have set server output on so once this is done actually this will help to compile it to understand that we need to display the message in the terminal or in the uh, any ide if you're using any ide there also you need to understand we need to print the message so because sometimes what is happening when we pick up this is nothing but the database server and these servers basically doesn't have the fancy user interface as such which we can use it in our separate software application so server basically understand we need to just process the data and provide it to the user interface whatever be the programmer is assigned to me but sometimes when the database programmer or database administrator wanted to process the data and see the database output in that case we need to set the server output on else it will be processed to the java java programmer or c programmer or any other user interface and that will like swing or any other kind of uh, user interface programming uh, frames and the data will be displayed directly to that particular frames or uh, panels or any kind of window based application so but here we are working on the pl sql so we need to make sure we tell database server like hello let's put the output on and it will display the message in the terminal then in there so this is how it works now once the database output put line is done average is calculated and displayed in g so these pipes basically concatenating your output with the text which is in the under quoted now if and there are the this is what the syntax in case of ps sql we have seen in our pre previous sessions that in ps sql there will be no brackets or any other separate content we provide for comparison it will be simple if g is greater than 50 then display the pass as fail so and in the end we need to make sure we close the if condition by saying end if and end the plc equal script and in the end we'll terminate it so we have seen there are three sections declare begin and end and this is how we write a script now let's take a look at the demonstration so first thing we need to connect the database i'm running it all these things in the oracle database server using sql command prompt there are some ides that will explain you in the end of the session that how you can have your ide and make it easy to execute and work on those systems and once the connection is done with your database and uh, this is a direct program so you don't have to i'll do anything i will make a code in a notepad and then i will save it in a sql file and that sql file will be executed in the command prompt in the terminal so that we can make changes in case if it will not work and you can do the copy paste easily instead of for the repeated course instead of writing it again and again just make it time saving that will save your time so declare and all the variables are declared here successfully next begin where we are going to assign these variables
So we have five variables assigned to this. So this at the rate basically help you to make it in a dynamic and runtime execution. So F will be assigned your A plus B plus C plus D plus E and termination. Now once this is done, G assigned to F divided by five because we are calculating the average. Then DFMS, this is your output, printing the output to the server, displaying the message. So this is the function we use and the single quote averages. If G, so this is not bracket, okay? If G, this is what the difference in the regular scripting and your PL SQL scripting. This is actually case sensitive, so make sure you use uh, uppercase and lowercase for DBMS. And if and your script and the termination. So what is the difference? If you're writing in a notepad, you need to make sure tell Oracle Engine that we need to terminate these statements after execution entire statements. So in the end, you need to add the backslash to escape the characters. And here I'm going to save it in my desktop or you can save it in your C drive to make it simple execution and give the name to average.sql permission denied because of primary partition of the database here so my SQL is inside my folder now here I can just uh, read the path So this is executing and it's asking the num marks. So suppose I made it B. So this is runtime execution and here the compiler is asking the five numbers to enter to calculate the average. I wanted to make sure this will share. So here we have an error and the error is the precision and it's fair. We need to make give some big number here because it's a total it's not going to be fit for four numbers so basically four is the total number and the two is the decimal part of that so we need to make sure it is exceeding the fours that's why it's showing the error that's okay but it's working so this is the command uh, to execute the sql file at the rate c is a path absolute path of the SQL file and termination and uh, this is runtime so here you can see this is not printing the message of the uh, it is not showing the message it is working it is compiled and executed successfully but it is not printing the message the reason we need to tell server to put the output on Let's try to execute once again. And here is the output. Average is 34 fail. Now let's take a look at the execution for the other side in case of it is pass. So to repeat the execution, you can just do the backslash. And this time let's make it pass to the student. 
and average is 76 and the student is pass so this is what the your uh, complete uh, the first simple psql script execution and demonstration where we are calculating the average and printing the message so we have seen the code is not just calculating it displaying and comparing the numbers and printing the message now in case if you want to see this execution in the ide there is one id called sql developer here you go i need the sql worksheet here i can create uh, uh, run here i can create a script or i can execute my output so suppose i have this execution script and i wanted to run this it will asking me the error numbers five numbers and this is the output you can see here average is 56 and it is passed so this is how it processed and uh, here we have given the numbers but in real practice project if you see these numbers are taken from the database and that we see in the next session so stay tuned and uh, see how we can process next session that taking the data from the database and process it and displaying the message so this is why going to be my next topic for the next practice project in PL SQL. in case of any queries concern questions and source code please feel free to contact techcrunch2019 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative sessions let's make coding fun thank you